All right, good evening, everybody. In this video, we're going to take a look at the 2023 unrestricted free agency class. Not this summer, the summer after. Coming up. Okay, the uh, shout out goes to David Ridley. He asked me to do this. And I guess I was guessing because we were talking about Patrick Kane and, uh, and so on in that class uh, of that year. And we're going to take a look at, we'll try to go a bit ahead with the kids and if things go a little better, uh, you know, we finish out, let's say we finish out the season okay, we do decent next year and maybe in that free agency we're targeting somebody. And uh, I'm just going to go with who you guys would uh, would like to see and want to stay away from with um, a 10-foot pole. <laughs> so let's take a look. I'm going to start with the um, the forwards, okay? So there'll be three clips. I'm going to do forwards, defensemen, and goalies. So let's take a look at this. Okay, there you see it. Now, leading the way is Patrick Kane, Jonathan Taze. And you can see their cap hits over on the right of all the players and, importantly, their age. You know, this is what I'd be looking at. And this is what age, the age that you see there is the age they will be, not what they are right now. It's the age they will be when free agency hits, okay? So you'll see Patrick Kane will be 30, 34 and a half, uh, 34.6, okay, and so on. So let's take a look at this, a little over 34 and a half, just slightly, okay? So Patrick Kane will be leading the way, of course. Without a doubt, he'd be the biggest name out there. And uh, then Jonathan Taze and Ryan O'Reilly unless they re-sign him over there, which I'm guessing he probably, I, I, I'm guessing most of you can guess who will be re-signed, who won't be. I'm guessing Kane and Taze will not be re-signed. I'm just guessing. Uh, O'Reilly most likely will be re-signed. Tarasenko, of course, wants out of St. Louis. He'll be long gone from the Blues, I'm sure, long before this. And then we go down the list. We look, we got James Van Reendijk. Uh, I'm not crazy about Van Reendijk, to be honest, myself. I mean, at this point, you know, uh, Max Pacioretty, David Pasternak, Sean Monaghan, Nathan McKinnon. The one that really stood out for me is this one, Dylan Larkin, is uh, looking at unrestricted, but again, most likely will be signed. Most likely. You never know. And our best buddy, Milan Lucic. There he is. And of course, Kyle Lukposo, Timo Meyer. Jordan Stahl, Jonathan Huberto, which would be amazing if that, that could ever happen, and Bo Horvat. Right off the cuff, if I can get any of these guys, Jonathan Huberto. Yeah, because of the age. Nothing against like Kane and, uh, you know, there's some guys here, nothing against them. I mean, McKinnon's not, we, let's face it, McKinnon's a pipe dream. There's no way he's going to, you know, he's going to be right in the prime of his career. I consider the prime years 28 to 30. I know they like it younger nowadays. I still consider those years valuable years, you know. McKinnon's going nowhere. But, um, that, you know, and oh, I got, uh, who did I miss at the bottom? Uh, I missed uh, Jason Zucker. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing you guys seen Jason Zucker was at the bottom. It's, um, again, you know, like you look at these forwards, who entices you? Who do you want to stay away from? You guys are calling this one, not me. If I, uh, like I said, if I had a choice, just one on here. For me, Jonathan Huberdeau stands out. Realistic, I'm saying realistic. Because when I see somebody 30, I think it's possible they might hit free agency. They might. I mean, what happens if the Panthers lose the first round the next two seasons? He might want out. I'm just leaving it at that. It's possible, right? So what I'm going to do now is we'll get up the defenseman. All right, guys, here we go. And there you see it. Leading the way, Matt Dumba. Eric Johnson, who I don't think anybody is going to go near. Then you got uh, Duncan Keith, who is 40. Most likely, I'm guessing, will retire an oiler or sign one-year deals with them. We don't want somebody 40. Uh, on the blue line. Dmitry Olav, eh, he'll be 32 by then. And then we got Travis Sanheim. 
who will be at a very nice age at 27.3 and his cap hit is 4.6. He might be looking at uh, an increase by then, who knows? You guys know how it works. It's always really just the year before that decides their market value. Then Gotha Spear comes in uh, which surprised me. I didn't realize his contract's that close to running out. Yeah, so he's um, he's available at 30 years old. Oscar Clefbaum, it will be 30. I just don't know what to think about Clefbaum. So many injuries. Uh, Damon Severson. Then we got Brian Dumoulin, Jake Gardner, who could be somebody to target even at, at age of 33. Kevin Shattenkirk will be 34 then. Mackenzie Weger, Ryan Graves, Travis Hammernick, and let me get down to the bottom here, guys, because I can't see the very bottom like you guys can, believe it or not. This is just how it kind of works on uh, my computer, unless I, here we go. Now I can save that and I'll go back in. Hold on. And who is at the bottom? Oh, Eric Cernak. All right, so who do we target here? This is the question. If we're targeting anybody, but I'm thinking one big name of just, it could be defenseman, forward. I don't think we will be looking at goaltending then. I, would, I don't think. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I just don't think. Um, God, you know, it, it, this is a tough one for me. Uh, it really is because a lot of these guys will be in their 30s. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe Travis Sanheim. I don't know. Gotha Spear, I would be willing. Yeah, Gotha Spear, I'd be willing to target because we've seen the big seasons he's had. Dumba most likely will have a boatload of teams for his services. I'm guessing. I, I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Dumba is going to be in demand. You know, that's pretty easy to, to see it that way. Uh, let me make this one smaller so I can read the bottom one this time. Hold on, guys. Now the goalies. All right, I'll just, uh, I'm just going to discuss a few goalies in here that stand out because we're not really in for a goalie, folks. Not really. I don't think we'll be in for a goalie. Um, you guys can see the list there. There's not too many enticing names. There really isn't. There's nothing that stands out for me. Everybody's like, um, you know, there's, there's just nothing that's... For me, guys, nothing stands out. Maybe I'm not seeing something... I mean, Varlamov will be 35, Quick will be 37, you know, Bishop's injury riddled. Frederick Anderson, maybe? I don't know. You know, no, I, I don't think, um, you know, I just don't think looking at this list, we're going to be in much of a demand for any of these guys. So why waste our time talking about it, really? I, I, I can't see the Sabres. You know, going after one of these free agents, they'll they'll sign a goalie that uh, probably not a big name goalie, you know, or a guy that's kind of beyond his prime like Anderson was, and things like this. I mean, uh, th they'll go the smart route just to buy time if we need that. But I think by then, a year and a half from now, you got to figure that UPL will be up. You got to figure he's going to be up by then, or else it's starting to not pan out at that point. I think UPL will will be up. And maybe another one of the young ones. We don't know. So I think goaltending will leave it. If you guys see anything on that list, let me know, really. Uh, I mean, don't forget, it's not this summer. It's the summer after we're looking at with something like this. But uh, look, it was a, a good idea, David, to take a look at this ahead of time because there's going to be somebody that I'm sure, if the Sabres are doing better, we're going to be a little more... I think a little more aggressive, maybe with free agency then. It, it will have to be in a position, though, where it's not stupid and we're not spending money we shouldn't also. I don't want to do that. If we're going to spend five, six million dollars, there's tequila. Tequila, be quiet. Tequila! Now she's being good, my sweet little dog. 
So that's where it goes. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to see what she's barking at, folks. I got another video I'm going to try to get up today. I'm, um, I'm so-so, but I'm going, to, I'm going to jump up when I can and just make. But I, you guys tell me what you think, yes or no. Do we need a goalie next summer, you know, do you think? Because if we do, then I'm concerned about UPL by that point. UPL should be up in the bigs by the end of next year, really. That's two years from now, you know what I mean? Think about it, two years from now, UPL should be up on the Sabres. That's the way I see it. Okay, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Have a good one.